Sure. Uh, we got uh, a good contest coming up against Louisiana. I think uh, Coach Napier down there has done an excellent job in uh, getting this uh, football team prepared to play each and every week. Uh, you can see the improvements they're making. Uh, they've got a strong offensive football team, solid defensive team, and just well coached all the way around. And, uh, you know, we're going to have to find a way to solidify and shore up some defensive effort to, to control that football team. But uh, we're working hard right here, trying to get our guys in place with the right motions and uh, practice habits to come out and be successful this Saturday against them. But I think it'll be a, a really good matchup against a quality opponent and uh, much respect for their uh, football team. Thank you, Coach. First questions come from uh, Dan McDonald with The Advocate. Dan, please go ahead. Morning, Coach. Uh, your guys have a, a rugged stretch down the, the last three games so forth. How, how do you sort of keep your guys going? Well, I mean, we're all competitors, and, and that's that's the name of the game. I mean, uh, you know, uh, you'd like to think every time you go out that, that, that that's what drives you, what drives you to win the competition aspect of it, uh, to build a, a football program, to continue mm-hmm. striving to make – uh, really big changes in what we're trying to do here and uh, to have the ultimate goal of becoming a better football team, a better man, and, and going out and competing for for conference wins. But, yeah, it's brutal. I mean, uh, you know, our schedule's been uh, been pretty tough uh, from day one, but uh, there's nothing new for us. We've just got to continue to grow and develop and, and go out there and give it our very, very People talk all the time about what Penny Hart does, but – how big is it for to have uh, have what Barnett's been doing for you the last couple weeks in the run game? Well, you know, Trey Barnett has really stepped up, and uh, it, it's really uh, just good to see. I mean, here we are, and uh, we're able to hand the football off and, and somewhat control the line of scrimmage here the last few weeks. I mean, uh, rushing for a good amount. And, you know, having our quarterback uh, attribute to the run game helps a lot in that aspect of it. But Trey's done an exceptional job. Uh, really stick foot and finding the holes and, and, and using his speed to outrun the defenses. And our offensive line has played uh, pretty decent up front to give him some holes to run through. So it's pleasing to see this uh, this run game come around a little bit because, you know, a year and a half ago when I first took this job, there was everybody had the question, can we ever run the football? Can we ever, ever run the football? You know, we're, we're starting to run it and people are starting to take notice. What do you see in this Louisiana team offensively that that, that causes you concern uh, for your defense? <laughs> well, first of all, uh, you look at them up front. They're big. They're physical. Uh, they can move people off the football. And uh, when you have the opportunity to do that as a as a front five for for any school, that's that's always the concern. Where do we match up? How do we gain an advantage? Uh, they're backs. They're 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 strong runners downhill. Strong runners, and uh, they're not really just one-step cut guys. Uh, they've done a great job, and the quarterback puts them in good situations. So uh, a, lot of dangerous, a lot of dangerous talent on this Louisiana football team that we've got to certainly contain and keep ahead of us, but it all starts with our defensive line against their offensive line.